Good morning and welcome to your Wallops weather briefing. Well, we had a line of storms move south across the region last night. Not much rain associated with that line of thunderstorms as we only reported about three hundredths of an inch of rain here at Wallops, but we did see some locally strong wind gusts associated with that line of thunderstorms, seeing 51 mile per hour wind gusts here at Wallops last night. Behind that frontal boundary, we've seen some drier air work its way in as high pressure builds in from the north today. We're going to see lower humidity values and a very comfortable day setting up for us under partly cloudy to mostly sunny conditions. Looking at our current surface analysis, you can see we had that frontal boundary to our south and uh, high pressure ridging in from the north. Uh, unfortunately, that lower humidity is going to be short-lived as that frontal boundary is going to make its way back north as a warm front later on tonight and we're going to be setting up for a couple of uh, very hot and humid days to end the week. Looking across the uh, southern portion of the map here you can see Hurricane Laura rapidly intensifying in the Gulf of Mexico this morning already up to a category 3 status at 115 miles per hour as of the late latest from the National Hurricane Center and we are going to continue to see strengthening uh, as it makes its approach to the Louisiana and Texas coastline later tonight where it is expected to make landfall. I want to take a quick look at the tropics and uh, the official track by the National Hurricane Center. You can see uh, the center of this cone pretty much right on the border of Louisiana and Texas uh, making landfall late tonight as a category four storm. So uh, further strengthening is expected as we go throughout the day today. And as you can see, it makes landfall, makes its way towards the center of the country and then actually gets picked up by a trough where we'll see some rainfall from the remnants of Laura impacting the Wallops region uh, on Saturday into Saturday night and possibly early Sunday. Right now, uh, a little bit of uncertainty as far as the timing of those showers and possible thunderstorms, but it does look like we'll see some impacts in the way of those showers and thunderstorms uh, later this weekend. So taking a look at our uh, upper level winds from this morning's uh, balloon release, you can see the winds uh, generally out of a northerly direction at the lower levels of the atmosphere and becoming more northwesterly as we get up to around 25,000 feet. We see a northwest wind at 37 knots. That freezing level this morning was at 14,400 feet. Taking a look here at our current radar depiction, you can see nothing to be concerned with right now. Uh, no precipitation in the area and we are not expecting any precipitation uh, for the remainder of the day as that high pressure dominates our weather. Taking a look at our Satellite imagery, you can see we did have some mid and upper level clouds that pushed uh, south across the region early this morning, but they are well off the coast now. Mostly sunny conditions out there with very little in the way of cloudiness, and we are expecting that general sky condition to continue throughout the remainder of the day. Let's take a look here at our forecast model. What we can expect, this is our high resolution model, uh, looking at what we can expect throughout the remainder of the day, and as you can see, nothing indicating any kind of uh, thunderstorm or shower potential uh, by the model here as we go through the day uh, and into the overnight hours. There was some indication we could see a few widely isolated uh, showers overnight tonight um, as that warm front lifts north of our area, but it looks like it's going to be just a bit too dry uh, for that to occur, so not anticipating any showers or thunderstorms later tonight. Looking at our forecast model here in the extended range uh, looking at our European model, you can see as we go through the Wednesday and Thursday time frame uh, remaining dry, here is uh, Hurricane Laura down in the deep south making uh, landfall along the Louisiana and Texas uh, coastline. And it's going to take a while for the uh, rain and remnants of that storm to make its way across the uh, Wallops region. Meanwhile, here at Wallops, we're going to see uh, the potential of some isolated showers and thunderstorms during the evening of Thursday night into early Friday morning and also a slight chance late Friday night as we take a look here and with the model as we go through those uh, couple of days really not a, a significant rainfall expected with those two two events um, and we are only looking at very low percent chances of those showers and thunderstorms occurring Thursday night and also on Friday night. 
As we look into uh, the forecast for Saturday, the European model is uh, a little slower than a lot of the other uh, computer models right now in bringing the uh, remnants of Laura across the Wallops region. So as we can see here on the European model by Saturday afternoon, still uh, seeing that shower activity well off to the west over Kentucky and making its way into West Virginia. But it does look like it's going to be picked up fairly quickly by the frontal boundary and the uh, best chance according to the European model will be for rainfall to occur late Saturday night into early Sunday morning. Some of the other models uh, such as the GFS showing a quicker uh, movement of the system and we could be seeing um, mainly uh, effects of the storm occurring on Saturday with clearing occurring uh, Saturday night and a nice day setting up for us on Sunday. So still some uncertainty there uh, with the timing of the rainfall. Um, that occurs with the remnants of Laura, but we'll be fine tuning that as we get um, more model data in over the next couple of days. So for the next 24 hours, looking at nice conditions, this will be the nicest day of the week with those low humidity values and comfortable temperatures. High temperature expected right around 85 degrees. Overnight tonight, partly cloudy skies with a low of 73. And as we look at our extended forecast, again, we'll have a very slight chance of some showers and thunderstorms during the evening hours of Thursday and Friday, but uh, a return to the heat and humidity will be occurring as well on Thursday and Friday. A high of 93 degrees on Thursday, 92 on Friday. And again, about a 20% chance, so not a very high probability of those showers and storms during the evening hours of Thursday and even less uh, occurring on Friday night uh, with those showers and thunderstorms. For Saturday, that's when we expect to start to see the remnants of Hurricane Laura. Um, start to uh, make their impact on wallops again. Right now, just looking at some showers and thunderstorms, could see some breezy conditions too as the low moves across the region uh, Saturday night and a Sunday. But at this time, not looking at anything real significant as far as severe weather or uh, very strong winds, uh, just some breezy conditions and your typical showers and thunderstorms occurring uh, Saturday night into early Sunday morning. Again, we'll fine tune the uh, forecast on the timing of those showers and thunderstorms. But as of this uh, point, we're looking at the best chances occurring late in the day on Saturday. For Monday, looking at partly cloudy skies with comfortable conditions behind that departing system with a high of 83. And for Tuesday, a chance of showers and storms with the uh, next frontal boundary uh, possibly affecting the Wallops region on Tuesday. We'll see a high of 84 degrees. Well, that'll wrap it up for your extended forecast for your daily uh, weather briefing. We'll be back again tomorrow morning with a look at your uh, forecast at 8.15 and at 10 a.m. Have a nice day.